Good morning and welcome to Coffee and Cookies. My name is Lindsay. We're so excited that you're joining us on this fantastic Monday because we're thanking God it's Monday. TGIM. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to say that, but I beat him to it. Um, welcome to Coffee and Cookies. This is a show about positivity, parenting, life in general, growth mindset, being a better us. That's what we're all about, growing. So grab your coffee and your cookies because we have some right here that we're going to taste us today. It's going to be sweetly delicious. I'm super excited. <laughs> um. Today is sponsored by Social Media Torch, creating content on purpose and for a purpose to help you solve SEO, social media, and email marketing. They're starting their 4th of July sale today, so go to their website to learn more and contact them to get 50% off all firestorms. Good morning, Nick. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, it is Monday morning, TGIM. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we got a great show for you today, and here's the best part. You ready for this? We're going to go a whole hour. I hope you're ready. We got I our don't coffee. Know if I'm ready. For we this. got our cookies. <laughs> Lindsay doesn't know her ready. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm ready. You're ready. And you want to? We're just we're just gonna pull Lindsay along with us. We're just gonna yeah, pull yeah. her along with us. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna be amazing. Why? Because we're here. You're here. And today, today's the day. Today's always the day. Not not always. Today's the day. Today you say that is, today the, is day. the day. It's always today, the day. Today. Today is the day. Today's the day no. you're going to get some positive. Today's the day that's Monday. Today's the day that I get to try a new <laughs> coffee thing. Coffee <laughs> thing. And I call it a coffee thing because I don't, thing. I don't, I don't drink I coffee don't think, like this. I don't know if it can be constituted this is as a, coffee. Uh, you want to, someone's going to say it's coffee. Taylor, is it coffee? I need to know. I need to know. <laughs> so here we go. You ready? This is the coffee thing. It's been sitting at my desk. It's, it's borderline a little, it's a little melted, melted right yeah. now, uh, mostly because I haven't touched it because I was waiting until we started the show. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have this, and then we have we have cookies. Look at these pretties. Mm -hmm. Oh, and goodness, you see that going? That that is that is delicious. One. That is, I don't know, two. <laughs> and this, I'm hoping, is delicious, three. They're all delicious. But this one has sprinkles. Yeah. So it's I know, so like. It's funny I know, that you're like, yeah, I'm not all about this, but I'm all about sprinkles. Like, isn't that counter counterproductive, counterintuitive, counter, like, don't those go against each other? Sprinkles. I don't like sprinkles, actually. What happened to your kidness? I know. Like, sprinkles. I don't think I've ever liked sprinkles. Hold on. I need you to talk. Okay. Hi. <laughs> do you ever have that? Like somebody just like do this and you're like, your mind goes blank. Yeah. Did, did that hurt? Yeah. It did. <laughs> I'm All right, out so of here practice. We go. I've been Taste off this. Test. Good morning, Rosalie. <laughs> Good morning, Nolan Taylor. Thank you for joining us and being the first person in the comments. Oh, you man. get a high five. Ready? One, two, three, high five. There we go. <laughs> All right. You want to know what's great about this? Okay. So don't get me wrong. Like I enjoyed going live every day, mm -hmm. but this is so much more intentional. And, 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 and here we go. Right. I get special coffees like once a week. It's going to be greatness. So we're going to taste test this. Lindsay, you, you get to go first. Cause this is more of your jive, more of your jive. Me. I, see, here we go. Right. Me. I would just want a espresso, mm. an Americano. It's like chocolate ice cream in a cup. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there goes my diet for the day. I'm yeah. going to just crush it with sugar this morning. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is delicious. Oh, oh so horrible. So <laughs> horrible. No, it's yum. <laughs> There's like cookie crumble. No, that was a different one. This is just chocolate. There's something yummy. It's, I'm it's chewing. Java chocolate chips. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We almost got the cookie crumble one. But I just have this thing about cookies getting dissolved in my drink. Like, I'm just, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. That's dessert in a cup. It's not coffee. It's ice cream. Yeah. Did you ever see that meme where <laughs> the girl's holding a Frappuccino like this? And yes, says, I shared that meme. Is it? Yeah. Did you share it? I'm the one who shared that meme oh, with you. Well, you want to tell people about it? Mm-mm. Oh. Go ahead. You're doing a great job. Oh, well, this girl's holding up a coffee from Starbucks. That's like this covered in chocolate and whipped the guy cream goes 
that's not coffee. Mm -hmm. This is coffee. Right, 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 right. <laughs> it's so horrible. I must finish it. Yes, Taylor. I must. <laughs> I must finish it. I'm going to be like on a sugar high. Forget a caffeine high. I'm going to be like on a sugar high for a second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So yep. what do we have here? Now we have, we, we have some cookies. Yes. You realize These... you're setting the standard on this now, right? If we have a guest I... on a Monday, like you're going to be like, you're in charge of cookies. I am. I'll be in charge of the coffee. Why? Because I can buy that. I don't have to make anything. <laughs> I didn't make these. <laughs> all right. All right. So this first one is these. what? The first one is what? What is this? Oh, that is a chocolate raspberry cookie. It's my favorite, actually. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll let you have this one back. Really? That is not my favorite. Mm -mm. Nope. Oh, my goodness. Mm -mm. You can have my... <laughs> my sprinkle one. Because that is not my favorite. <laughs> all right. All right. Next. <laughs> Next, we're going to go to the sprinkle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is called um, birthday cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're in the comments, how many of y'all <laughs> like birthday cake? I, I, I need to know. Like, I love birthday cake flavored anything. Yeah, no, I don't like birthday flavor cake ice cream. Like I like I just like birthday cake. OK, but this kind of birthday cake, like my birthday cakes are not like this. They should be. No. Hey. I wouldn't eat it. Well, hey. they probably should be because then I wouldn't eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Thomas. How you doing, brother? <laughs> Thomas from up north. All right. Ready, ready for the last yeah. one. Now, what is this yeah. one? I'm going to take a little nibble of this because I know I don't like it. She cheated. Mm -hmm. You taste tested before the show. How dare you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a deep voice today. Dun, 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 dun. This one is snickerdoodle. Oh, I'm going to love this. <laughs> you said snicker of the doodle. <laughs> this one is really doodle. yummy as well. Who came up with that? I'm, I'm going to come up with the flavor. I'm going to name it snicker doodles. <laughs> it's not doodles. It's like, doodle. Like, like, like with someone looking at a poodle and was like, look at that. It's a poodle. It's a snicker doodle poodle. <laughs> He's only had a couple drinks of, of his coffee. <laughs> Y'all, pray for me. I'm going to need some help. <laughs> a snickerdoodle poodle. Amber, if you're watching, I want, like, the next birthday cake. I want it to be, like, a snickerdoodle cake, but in, like, the shape of a poodle. So you have a snickerdoodle oh, poodle. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, oh, right? Nolan. Mm. Birthday cake ice cream mm. with chocolate chip cookie dough mixed in. Mm. That sounds way too much. Wait, mm. wait. Mm. Nope. Okay. See, like, those sprinkles. Death by chocolate. Ugh. Rosalie. Yes, I yes. can do death by chocolate. Yes, it's a new coffee flavor, Snickerdoodle Poodle. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, brother, that's so good. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness gracious! Oh my goodness, I'm gonna lower my voice a little bit. I'm still getting loud. Mm. He's so Why? excited! I'm He's so excited! I'm back on camera again. Sugar. <laughs> we haven't been on camera like all week. <laughs> I know it's been crazy. Thank you, Angelina. Thank mm -hmm. you, Angelina. Mm. All right, I had to get some water down, clear the palate. Why? Because mm. I'm going to be drinking this other coffee. <laughs> it's not really coffee. It's like dessert in a cup. It's not coffee. You want, We ordered this. It okay. never said shots of espresso. So in my head, no. It's not coffee. Um, But it came out of the coffee frappuccino menu. <laughs> <laughs> the coffee frappuccino. <laughs> so there's some kind of coffee in it. <laughs> there's some kind of... <laughs> Whatever, whatever. <laughs> so, question <sighs> for you, the audience, and Nick. Would you, based on desserts, would you rather have the cookies or the coffee? Do I get three Snickerdoodle cookies? Like, because I might, like, do you get a coffee this big? Like, like I, I need, I need, I need. Size, comparable. Size, comparable. Comparable, yeah. Okay, so three Snickerdoodle coffees. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it's a new thing. <laughs> <laughs> Three snickerdoodle poodle coffees <laughs> or one of this. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take this so I can sip on this all day. Mm -hmm. I will, if you give me those three cookies, like if we were not on camera, mm -hmm. I would be shoving them in my face right now. Wow. They're shoving so good. Them. Well, I, I'm so sorry. The, the chocolate raspberry, I'd throw that at you. Um, hopefully you catch it. Or, I would totally catch it. And what? if it fell, I'd you probably eat it off the floor. Do you want to do this on camera? <laughs> I'm going to like toss it. No. You got to catch no. it. Uh -uh. Yes. No. Our mm -mm. audience would love it. They would love it. They would love it. Yep, no. coffee, coffee, cookie no. monster. You want Nolan doesn't do coffee. 
Mm, but this isn't really coffee, Nolan. <laughs> this is ice cream in a cup. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I, I it's so hard to drink because I have to chew every time I take a drink. <laughs> mm. Not my favorite. <laughs> Not my favorite by a long shot. <laughs> All right, you ready? It is delicious, though. If so, you're wanting a, a, a cool treat from Starbucks with a little bit of caffeine kick, this is the way to go. You're the caffeine kick. No, I'm the caffeine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was our that was our first segment of taste testing. Thank you, Lindsay, <laughs> for bringing cookies. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Nick, for getting the coffee. Oh, You're, thanks, welcome. Nick, for You're welcome. You're <laughs> welcome. <laughs> I forgot about that one. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Nick, for getting it's the okay. coffee. It's okay. I'll just thank myself for getting the coffee. We're good here. <laughs> you know. Lindsay. Nick. Let's have our weekend recap. How was your weekend? Mine was busy. Why? Um, impromptu babysitting session on Saturday <laughs> turned from like, so like it was going to be a couple hours turned into all, all day. All day. <laughs> all day. All day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which was, you know, great and exhausting. And just reiterating the fact How that many I kids? did not want to have four kids. There you go. So, so, yeah, I was watching four, not just four kids, four girls. <laughs> <laughs> All under the age of six. <laughs> How was that? Um, it, was it was good for the most part. For the most part. We had a few meltdowns. We had a few... Drama moments, which, yeah. you know, a few with four girls. I, I'll take it. That's a win. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Other than that, we went to church yesterday and had a great, great day. Yeah. Great Good afternoon. Weekend. All right. Mm -hmm. So so our weekend started with, are you ready for this? Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? I finally got to go see it. Top Gun. Mm-hmm. If you have not seen it, you are missing out. Just, I'm just going to let you know. There's a reason. There's a reason why that movie is crushing it. And I'm going to ruin it for you. Mm -mm. You ready? Mm -mm. I, just hold on. You know what I'm going to do? Hold on. Just... Whatever it is, it's going to ruin something. No, it's not going to really ruin the movie. <laughs> Tom Cruise opens with a thank you to the audience. Right. That right there, what other movie franchise right now is going, hey, we're going to thank our audience for spending, mm -hmm. you know, $50 on a date night, $100 on a date night to come watch a movie that we created. Right. Like, right then and there, Amber was like, Amber was like, that's okay. Like, like you have my attention. That was worth it right there to pay for the ticket. <laughs> right? It was just, it was so well done. Good morning, Edward. How you doing, bro? That's it was just, it was just so nice to have to open with that, right? Mm -hmm. And then you get, and then, and then and then the movie plays on, and and right now I'm gonna go into a little bit of a rant, and then we're gonna bring it back, okay? All right. Right now, the issue that you're having with Disney, the issue that you're having with Marvel, is you have it the the, the they're calling it the MCU, okay? And and the issue that that we're running into is we're having female characters being brought in, and they're being so op, so overpowered. That they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not um, complimenting the rest of the cast. They're degrading the rest of the cast. Mm -hmm. And in Top Gun, you have strong female characters that absolutely complement the rest of the cast. Mm -hmm. And when you see just, when you watch this movie and you see the character development of everyone, okay? The white guys, the black guys. The, the women, the Asian guys, like with every demographics in there, okay? And when you see the character development and you watch it, you go, yes, I get it. Like, there's a reason why it's not just like, it, you don't have to watch the first Top Gun to enjoy this movie. Mm, that's good to know. But, but, but the character development. I, I have seen the first one. But the but. character development is there. Right. So no matter what demographic you come from, you're like, oh, that was so good. I feel included. That was so well written. Mm -hmm. Like it was just so well written. And there was, it just, he nailed it. There was the right funny moments. It wasn't over the top, like in Dr. Strange too. Mm -hmm. 
there were just some times where they tried to make a joke and you're like, why? That wasn't funny. That wasn't funny. <laughs> that was so off cue. It was so forced. Mm -hmm. That was not funny. Mm -hmm. You know, um, or, or right now, and I hate to do this. Gosh, I love this franchise, Star Wars, in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Like, like just it's such poor writing that mm -hmm. you're like, come on, are you insulting the audience? Is that what you're, if your objective is to insult your, your audience, your base of people who love your franchise, you're doing an amazing job right now in Kenobi. Mm. And I hate, like, I hate saying that. Right? But... So be it. I'm not a writer and I don't have those people pushing. I don't have those people pushing, you know, pushing me to write in, in their ways, but I do, I do get to criticize it. I do to come out and say, you want to know what this right now, Top Gun is crushing it in the box office because it was great writing. It was great inclusion of every demographic of uh, every demographic and nothing was forced. So go watch Top Gun absolutely go watch Top Gun. It's worth it. So worth it. Okay. So then that leads into, that leads into Saturday. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we have Mighty Men in the morning. Yep. It was great. I got notes from all that. We're going to talk about that later. And then I was like, all right, Amber, I'm going to go work on the rental property. And, uh, Dustin rode with me to Mighty Men on the way back. He's like, Hey, I'm going to go do this. My, my man, like, I'm going to go do it. Like, you don't have to go with me. I'm going to go do it. And he's like, I want to go. You know, right. Taylor. Yeah. There's no, no agenda. agenda. No agenda. No one. Yes. Uh, you want to, we, we could absolutely great get a guy uh, like a, like a group date night going. We absolutely can group date night. Just every, all friends. Like we're going to just go take over a theater. That would be so much fun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> could you imagine the coffee and cookies crew showing up at one theater and just taking over? Like that would be awesome. That would be so much fun. So, so, so Dustin volunteers to come with me. Mm -hmm. Amber's like, I'm going to go. And thank God she came because she detailed that fridge to was like brand new. Yeah. Nick does not do detail. Hence three integrators, three, three integrators days. to be, to have my life. <laughs> yes. Right. So, so, so Amber's like going to go mm -hmm. and then I'm like, okay, well we, we can't take the kids. Nothing's going to get done. Right. And Lindsay, you, you stepped up. You're like, I got the kids. Mm hmm. And I'm yep. like, oh, my goodness, does Lindsay have any idea what she's about to volunteer herself <laughs> for? Oh, I did. Because before I answered, I did say a prayer. I'm like, God, <laughs> give me the strength because this is going to push me out of my out of my zone. Like, yes, for four girls, four like, girls. It's just different. Like, yeah, four girls with four with big girls. personalities. Yes. Yes. So thank you for doing that. Tristan came with us. Mm -hmm. He was a great little man, great little helper. So we start working on the house. And, and I don't remember where we started first. Where did we start first? The first thing we did is we started working on, um, I don't, I don't remember, but we turned on the water to the house <laughs> because Amber needed water to clean the fridge right. and leak number one happened. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, turn off the water, go over there to start fixing the leak. And turn back on the water. Great. The leak number one's done. So then we notice that there's a leak in the bathroom. Okay. So the first leak was the, the bathtub. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go in there, tighten everything up. Great. Fixed. Then it was a leak from the drain leaving from the bathtub. Great. Figure that out. Okay. <laughs> then I look over and there's a leak coming from the sink. <laughs> So, so I try to fix that. It's so rusted. It's so just corroded out that we have to go buy a new faucet. Okay. Okay. So I buy a new faucet. I run to Home Depot. I buy a new faucet. I install that. And then, and then I look over and there's a puddle around the toilet. <laughs> I'm just like, no, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so I, so we, we, we figured You're out it's this. this leak oh my the room. goodness. <laughs> So we, 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 we figure out it's the seal of the toilet, the toilet bowl, like, like, like the porcelain's mm -hmm. fine. It's the rubber mm -hmm. seals, right? Mm -hmm. Cause those wear out. They do wear out this yeah. one. So, so Dustin's able to get one out, but the other one gets stuck. And we sit there for like an hour trying to figure this out. We're laying, I, I am laying down. Dustin's not laying down. Dustin's standing in, <laughs> but Nick is going <laughs> to lay down in toilet water. 
things so humbling. To do to, so uh, humbling. You know. <laughs> Oh man, I am I am laying down in toilet water, and it is just I'm just like you want to what? Here we go. Mm-hmm. So sure enough, we finally get that bolt figured out and get the new one installed, get everything sealed up, and it's all done. But this is a matter of about four hours. Oh, we almost burned down the house. I've heard. So, so. Oh my god. So after fixing all the water leaks. I then and like drying them up and right? drying them like, up and clean. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> drying them up and doing all that. After getting all done with the water leaks, I go and there's this one outlet that doesn't have a cover on it. I'm like, well, that's weird. So I, I have my gloves on it and I go to push it in and a bug shoots out from behind the outlet. Somehow I'd squished a bug between the wire and a metal plate that is somehow in this outlet. A, like <sighs> a real bug, like a real bug shot out. Like, it was so funny. Amber squeaked. Tristan was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> Dustin's like, what happened? Okay. So then I'm like, okay, that, that was the bug. Perfect. The bug's out. Let me push this back in. I'm like, I'm not using my hand this time. I go to use my foot and I start pushing in. Oh, and Rosalie, girl, insurance nightmare is an understatement. So, so, uh, so I go to push it with my foot and I push it in and it sparks and it lights on fire. <gasps> And so I, I release it and the fire immediately goes out, right? And I'm like, forget this. Turn off all the breakers. Turn off all the breakers. Turn off, <laughs> I turn off the entire house. Turn off the entire house. Mm-hmm. I go over there. I cut these wires. I end cap them. Mm-hmm. And I put it all together and I put it back in. And I put a cover over it. An and unusable cover. A, a right? cover. Yes, a cover, like a plate. <laughs> okay. And, and here we go, right? It's like, no wonder why the contractor didn't mess with that one outlet. They were trying not to burn down the house. Right. But you could have told me. Right. Ugh. So, we go to flip all the breakers back on. Uh-oh. And the <laughs> AC unit doesn't turn back on. <laughs> so, in this house, we spent a good amount of money, and we put a triple split system AC unit in this house. Mm-hmm. Because it's Texas. It's it Texas. Gets hot. I don't know if you knew, but yesterday it was 103. <laughs> yes. I thought my truck was lying to me. No. <laughs> my little thermostat wasn't. my truck. <laughs> so so we go through and I'm like, great, what is going on? And mm-hmm. sure enough, um, the breakers for the AC unit, they don't show you if they're cracked or not. You have to guess. Oh. So we're running around Robin, running around Robin. However, we did figure out where the boiler, the hot water heater, which circuit breaker that was, mm-hmm. we started la- labeling everything. We turned off breakers that were not being used. So I run to the store, I get the breakers, come back in. I'm like, oh my goodness. And I turn off the I turn off the power to the whole house. I put that one breaker in and then I click it on and it starts up. Whew. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> And then Dustin, so some of the, some of the cabinet doors weren't lining up. So mm-hmm. Dustin, <laughs> he took a sawzall. He just won't. And I'm like, oh, bro, it's so crooked. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go, though, right? Like, I couldn't have done any better. Like, <laughs> I don't, don't ask me to cut things straight. Like, there's a reason why I use the chop saw for things, because mm-hmm. I don't cut straight. So I have, I, like, there's no, like, I get it, mm-hmm. right? So I have to run back to Home Depot <laughs> and buy a sander so we can sand it down and get it perfectly straight. And then we reinstall it. And now all the cabinets shut and everything works correctly. And the house is the house is no longer an insurance nightmare. Thank it has God. all new plumbing. Everything that could that could leak <laughs> is now new. The AC unit works. Uh, we went around the house and just resealed that house. Mm-hmm. Just put caulk everywhere where there was just little holes and things. Because I mean, it's, it's a house built in the 1920s right. or 1940s. Like, it's an older home, right? But just resealed it. And then Amber was like, everyone get out of the house. So Amber kicked us all out the back door. And she vacuumed that whole house all over again, all the way to the front door. And then we left. And we were so tired. And you got home and you found Lindsay was so tired. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, pick your heart, right? Yeah. Pick so, your heart. So thank you, for Lindsay, real. for allowing us to get all of that work done. I it's, Thank you for getting all that work done. <laughs> it was it took it it took a team. Uh Tristan did amazing. And then Sunday morning we woke up, we served in the house, we we we, we served at church. Dealing with insurance myself. Taylor, that sounds like a story. I wonder what's going on there. Uh, I got to serve at church and then Sunday afternoon. Um, 
Amber went and took a nap <laughs> for mm-hmm. like four hours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. And I, I just played with the kids and we played and my girls have really started to enjoy wrestling. Mm. Like I'll sit down on the floor. Oh my gosh. Isla was wrestling with me. Yeah. She's yeah. yeah. She's yeah. scrappy. <laughs> girl, girl, mm-hmm. like she will, <laughs> she will. And London, like, like, like I was like, oh, you, I attack you like full force right in. Mm-hmm. London's like, I'm going to figure out how I get behind how you. How do I sneak around? Yes. Mm-hmm. Like super sneak, super yep. ninja. Yep. London's my little ninja. And then, um, <laughs> so I, I, I think, I think we're going to start something and Amber of course has to bless this. Well, we're just going to have people come over like every sa- Sunday afternoon mm-hmm. and it's going to be like, um, it's relaxing Sunday with the guard sides. Hmm. Like, come on over. We're going to, we're, we're going to be some kind of a potluck and you better bring comfy clothes because you can use the media room upstairs. You can use the big TV downstairs. You can read books. We can have just conversations but it's, you better bring your comfy clothes after church. Come on over. We're going to eat and we're going to relax. I like this and idea. And at five o'clock, we're kicking everyone out of the house. <laughs> like you can come over, you hang out for two to three hours with us. And at five o'clock, everyone has to leave. Why? Because mm-hmm. we need to prep for the next day. Right. I mean, if you look at this, I finally got my haircut. How long did it take you? Two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks to get my haircut. <laughs> two weeks because just there's just time but yeah. but i was talking i was talking with him was like you know we have people that want to come over and hang out with us after church and i don't like telling them no um yes london is going to be a future oh yeah and london served uh usher greeter at the door oh, fun so um but it just we have people that want to come over and hang out with us and i want to hang out with them too Mm -hmm. but it's like, well, how do you meal prep? How do you do this? How do you do that? So what I've come up with, it's going to be a potluck. Mm -hmm. It's a potluck every Sunday, bring whatever you want and different. And it's going to have a theme. So like, like one week, like one week, it's going to be chicken. Just things around chicken. Like, I don't care what it is. Next weekend might be like Mexican. Like, just like, I don't even care if you go buy it from like a restaurant and bring, yeah, yeah, roses and bring it in. Like, Mm -hmm. I don't care. Right. And then maybe the next weekend is like hamburgers. Mm-hmm. Just everything around hamburgers. Mm-hmm. And the next one's going to be breakfast for lunch. Pancakes. Mm. Oh, yes. I'm going to miss that one. <laughs> Why? Yeah. I am not a huge breakfast food fan. Well, well. Oh, yes, yeah. Rosalie. Yes. you want, We actually need to go get our, our free passes so we can invite people to the beach. Mm-hmm. Rosalie wants to go to the beach. I, I'm down. Rosalie, when you want to go? <gasps> Cassie! <laughs> Right. So Cassie actually, um, it was our converse. It was mine. You, it was the conversation you, me and Amber had at the end of church that then sparked the conversation of doing roses. That's not Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Vic. Mm, you'll have to come teach us about Mexican <laughs> There you then, go. Right. And uh, here we go though. Here yeah. we go though. Like, like it's one of those things where like, Hey, it's going to be a potluck. Like, bring your food, but don't just bring enough food for your family. You need to bring enough food for the group. Right. Right? Right. And if you need to use our kitchen, great. Our kitchen will be available. If you want to stop it, if we have chicken day and you want to get um, just, na- just babes. Name- babes chicken, right? And bring it on up. Great. Bring it on up. Mm-hmm. Right? But the whole idea is just to create a comfortable <laughs> environment where people can just come <laughs> hang out and then we can have those conversations. Mm-hmm. Vic, I don't want to... I, so I'm from Michigan. The only oh. Mexican place up there is Taco Bell. <laughs> Vic, if you want to open up a Mexican restaurant, go up north. I guarantee you'll crush it because <laughs> you'll have no competition. Yeah. Now, I mean, mm-hmm. don't get me wrong. Vic's food could hold up to competition. I'm just oh, saying, yeah. like, if you just want to, like, own, like, a whole city. Yeah. You know, be mm-hmm. that place. You want to know what, Rosalie? We should absolutely have an a, an Olive Garden one day. Just Olive Garden day. How like everyone goes to Olive Garden. Not Olive Garden. How about Italian? Italian? <laughs> Italian? <laughs> Italian? Which one is it? I don't even know. Oh, no. Oh, poor Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't. I know Rosalie's growling at me right now. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> like, I just, I know. 
<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. So that is the weekend. Thank you, you guys for it. listening to 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 my weekend stuff. Uh, that was the conversation. Amber still has to bless that idea mm -hmm. before we can roll out. Because the other idea was to have everyone over like every third Sunday. Mm. And then just do like a potluck like once a month. Every third Sunday, we do a massive potluck. I'm gonna, I was going to say like, that's, that's a lot. Every week is a lot. Which is fine if that's what you're signing up for. <laughs> Well, here we go, though, right? That's why mm -hmm. it's a relaxing Sunday. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm setting the expectation. You're yeah. coming over. We're going to eat food. And then people are going to go take naps. <laughs> okay? We're going to take naps. Like, you, if you want to go up to the media room, and because the media room is the coldest room in the house, mm -hmm. and put on a movie that is kid-friendly. Because the kids are going to want to see what you're watching. And for those of you that are single or dating or don't have kids, if you want to come experience what it's like to have a Sunday afternoon with kids, come on over. <laughs> <laughs> come experience this. You'll learn a lot real quick. It's mm -hmm. it's funny because that that is I, I would almost say that's something that's missing out in couples lives that don't have kids. Like you need to go hang around parents that have kids and watch the way they're raising their kids mm -hmm. and, and not not to copy them, but. Unless, of course, it's me and Amber um, <gasps> <Wow>. <laughs> or Lindsay and Dustin um, or Rosalie and, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hi, Diane. Mm -hmm. So Diana, Diane is actually in the building somewhere here. Yeah. I know she's here. I just, she's not up here. She's probably downstairs. She, so she Diane likes on once a month. <laughs> I know I was going to invite her to, but we were kind of texting back and forth. Um, where was I going with this? Great question. We were trying to decide if it should be every, oh, if you don't have kids, definitely spend time with people who have kids oh, so you can yeah. start to figure out how uh, you, what want, you want, yes, yes. Your, your raising style. And that's actually what Pastor Keith talked about yesterday, about deciding what matters most. There you go. Mm -hmm. Because he, everybody's going to have their own opinions about how you should raise your kids. You need to make the decision. So go observe as much as you can about how people raise their kids and start collecting and be like, Oh, I like how they do this. Or I like how they do this. And then incorporate it into your own parenting. Plan. Hold on. Diane, what? are you seriously in the hallway right now? Come into the office. What are you silly? <laughs> uh, just so you know, but Diane's my little sister. So Vic, thank you for the love brother. I like my haircut too. It's so funny. I, I, I have gone to multiple haircut people mm -hmm. and they can't cut it right. I go to my wife and she's like, beep, 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 and it's done. Right. Like I'm so simple. It's simple. I want to, I want to, I want to line. I don't want to fade. I want mm -hmm. the fluffy fade stuff. Some people like that. Some people don't. I just don't. But yes, get, getting around that. And here we go. You ready for this? Amber and I had to have the conversation of core values mm -hmm. because I thought they were locked down. She thought they were locked down. But they were different. They were different. <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> they were. We had the conversation That's and our hilarious. core values were different. That's so funny. What I thought our direction we were going in and what she thought was our core values were just different. Mm -hmm. I saw a movement. It was another lady. Oh, man. Vicious. <laughs> That is so Good funny. morning, Jerome. How you doing, brother? Jerome is someone else who I'd like to get on the show one day. Yes. Yes. I would mm -hmm. like to have Jerome on, on, on here as a guest one day. Um, but no, like we, we had to have that conversation about great. Like what are what are our core values? And um, we, after we after we kind of after we really nailed them down, it was. We keep talking about this, but do our daughters know our core values? That, that was right. probably the biggest thing I got from our sermon from Pastor Keith's sermon. Um this Sunday was, you know, you, you have to graduate from elementary school, right? Mm -hmm. What? Nothing. Keep I saw going. that look. I know. Oh, there you go. She pulled out the phone, right? No. It was, it was, it was, it was so important because I know our, I know our core values. Well, I thought I did. I thought Amber was, I thought, you know, it's mm, as a leader, here we go. Hear me on this people. As a leader, you need to be checking in with the people that you're leading. Because the direction you're going in may not actually be in alignment of where they believe you're going. Mm -hmm. And it was so funny because he's like, core values, Pastor Keith, I'm going to quote, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to nick a phrase, Pastor Keith, okay? Core values, core values, that's elementary. Like, that is a standard in this household, okay? And when he says household, he means his church. 
mm-hmm. like core values. Like you should learn that. Like that's, that's entry level. Mm-hmm. And I'm sitting here going like how many families I didn't even understand core values. So I got into this house right. into that church. Sorry. I keep saying house. Cause they call it a house at church church. Like, like, yes, we talk about it, but no one really teaches it. Mm-hmm. No one teaches you how to create your core values. So just, just rehaving that conversation. Yeah. So Dustin and I have been working on our core values and I had this vision of what it would look like to have it displayed in our house. Right. Mm -hmm. And pastor Josh talked one time about like, what is the one thing that your life is, is, is moving towards. If you could take your core values what would they be? What would the foundation be? Like if, if one person, if you had one word that people said about you, what would it be? And that's kind of like your, your main core value. And then everything kind of stems off of that. And I had a vision when he talked about this of displaying, okay, don't you, well, you can totally make fun. Cause it's, yeah, it's an idea. It's an idea, but I had this idea of displaying it like a tree. Oh, I like it. And having that one word that we want everybody in our family to focus on be the, the root or the, the trunk of the tree. And then everything gets pulled off of that. And then even the different, so we have these, these five different, like, can I, we have these five different branches coming off. Mm-hmm. Those are all core values. And then coming off of that is other things on how to do that core value. So like, cause I'm thinking, how do I teach this to kids? Like, what does it mean to have honor? What does it mean to be honorable to a four-year-old? What does it mean to show love right. to a four-year-old? What does that mean? So like with love or Yeah, with love, let's do love because love's a big one. Um, (laughs) (laughs) With love, right now, a four-year-old, it's like sharing. Hi, Elena. Thank you for joining us this morning. Okay, keep going, Lindsay. Sharing and um, forgiveness and, you know, but putting it in terms that they can understand. And then, you know, so that's, that's kind of like my initial thought of how I want my core values displayed in our house. It's a tree of life. Yeah. It's a tree of how you do life, how I do life, how we do life as a family. So right now, Dustin and I are still hammering out what the core values are going to be. And mm-hmm. then it's like, okay, how do I get this created? <laughs> I love it. You're, you're and, and you're documenting all this, right? Like your steps. For sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So when you get done, you're going to have a book, (laughs) right? Yeah. And there's going to be a workbook, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And there's going to be children's workbooks. Mm -hmm. So because here, entry level, get your core values. Step one, ready? Or step two, get your spouse on the same core values. Right. Those are now the household core values. Yeah. Step three, start teaching your kids the core values. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something, and people are not going to like it. You ready? Let's hear it. How many mistakes would you not have made growing up if you had core values to base your judgments on, <laughs> to base your decisions on growing up? Seriously. I, I'm asking you a very serious question right I now. Like, like, are, like, like, here like... we go, right? Like, <clears throat> how many decisions mm-hmm. would you have made correctly if you had some kind of a core value to benchmark that, that, that whatever decision you're making on like honor, honor Mm -hmm. before you were disrespectful to your parent while you were growing up, before you were disrespectful to a teacher while you were growing up, before you were disrespectful to some position in power, whether or not they deserved it or not. If your core value is honor, would you have handled that situation differently? Would your life be different? Would you be able to be blessed differently because you lived honorably. Well, I think there's a difference between understanding what a core value is and internalizing it. Uh, 
I agree. I agree. Again, I'm only I'm only on I'm only on stage three, right? Right. I'm just saying if you had something to benchmark it on, right? Okay. If you had a core value of excellence or you had a core value of love, or you whatever your core value is, if you had some kind of core value to benchmark your decisions on when you were in high school, mm -hmm. where would you be right now? Mm -hmm. What 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 experiences would you have been like, oh, you know, I did make a bad decision because I didn't have anything to 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 benchmark it against. So I was actually talking to my niece about our core values and, and, uh, like I was explaining to her, she's like, well, what does that mean? And I'm like, you're drawing your line in the sand. In the concrete. In the concrete. Yeah, I did. I said, I said sand and I'm like, well, actually, no, it's more of a concrete. It's, because, it's a concrete. But your, but your core values can change over time. Sure. Like, my, my ways of showing love are going to go from, sharing to generosity like is that the same thing kind of like you're sharing your resources by being generous with others but right it's expanding their minds it's expanding how they think of things well i'm not just sharing anymore i'm being generous i'm choosing to give that up i'm choosing to to share it with other people yes so i am choosing i am, I am choosing. choosing you're not influencing me I am choosing. Taylor, I love that. Mm -hmm. I love what you have here. Are you giving your kids something to respect before correcting them or just demanding obedience? Right. It's so funny. And I, I love the fact that you, you were talking about it. You were having that conversation with, with your niece. Mm -hmm. Hear me on this. Does your niece go to church? Yes. Are her parents Christians? Yes. Yes. But it's not being taught at that church. It's being taught at our church. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm not saying one is better than the other. And maybe I am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's the difference. Yeah. That's that leadership. That, that, that's that loving leadership mentality that's being taught. Mm -hmm. So I, I asked her, I said, well, what would your core values be? And she gave me things that were like goals. Okay. She thought were core values. And I'm like, no, that's something you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. That's not something to live by there you go you can't take that and use it for the rest of your life so how did you end it before i go to my next point i challenged her to come up with her own okay good so now now you, you you've become a an impromptu coach mm -hmm. you become an impromptu <laughs> you know mentor Mm -hmm. Right now, hear me on this. A lot of people who were here in the comments on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Okay. A lot of y'all go to church with us. Mm -hmm. It's taught in our church. The very second you leave that parking lot, the rest of the world is not getting taught this. Right. Okay. Sure. You could go to John Maxwell. You could go to other different um, leadership people. But when Pastor Keith teaches it, he teaches it with a biblical base. Mm -hmm. John Maxwell, does it have a biblical base? Yes, it does. But not the same way pa Pastor Keith teaches it. Okay. That's why when Pastor Keith says you need to be inviting people. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm, I'm, I'm working on this, right? Inviting people. If, if, if you could get someone to shift their mindset just, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Core values. How would your neighborhood change if the households on your street had core values? How would you ready for this? How would your neighbor's kids change if there were core values in that household? So I think that this is actually a good segue to our next topic. And I think the core values are a way of putting those guardrails up in the way that you're. I, I know the direction you're going. What? Can, can, I, can I put a pause in it for one mm -hmm. second? Okay. Mm -hmm. one, one, one second. And then I, then I want to get to the guardrails. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> understand this. If you go to elevate and you understand this core value thing, okay, that is now your, it's your turn to distribute. Pastor Keith cannot get in front of everyone. Okay. You have an audience that's going to listen to you. Taylor, you have an audience that's going to listen to you. Alana, you have an audience that's going to listen to you. Vic, mm -hmm. you have an audience that's going to listen to you. Edward, you have an audience that's going to listen to you. Nolan, you have an audience that's going to listen to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So be ready. Be ready. To start teaching core values. Be ready to at least opening the door. If you're like, Nick, I don't want to teach. I just I'm ready to open the door to bring people in. And maybe you bring them to Pastor Keith. Maybe you bring them to Lindsay. Maybe you bring them to me. Maybe you bring them to someone who can teach it. Maybe you bring them to Gary Gregory. Mm -hmm. Right? Maybe you bring them to Ernesto. Okay? Maybe you bring them to, to, to Pastor Josh. Maybe, maybe you don't need to teach it. Maybe you just need to open the door. 
Right. Okay. Because, and it's funny because where this is coming from is I've, I've heard someone go to an event. They're like, oh, I just heard them repeat what Pastor Keith said. Yes, but at that event, there were 5,000 people that were not at church. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's good to take what you learn from Pastor Keith. It's good to take what you learn at Elevate Life and rebroadcast it. Right. Okay. Thank you for letting me get that out. Yeah. Now we're going to guardrails. No, guardrails. So go. core values are guardrails for your own life. And we're done. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're guardrails for your family. They're guardrails for how you operate within your family. So there was actually this study done of kids. They were put into a playground that didn't have a boundary around it. And they said, go, go play. And all the kids stayed close to the playground set. Mm -hmm. They didn't explore. They didn't go do anything outside of what they knew was comfortable. Right. They put a boundary. They put a fence around that play set and they said, go explore. And they said there were kids all over the playground, all the way up to the fence line. Yep. Because they knew where it stopped. Yep. They understood. And I think that's where a lot of people, a lot of kids, a lot of adults, a lot of everybody has to figure out where are my guardrails in life and how do I operate within them? Mm, love it. Love it. Yeah. But no one teaches that. No. I didn't get, I have a master's degree. We didn't get taught <laughs> that. Well, no, no, it's I, a different it's, mindset. It, but it's, it's not, it's not, it's not taught in school. Are you ready? What if before you graduated from high school, you had to go through a leadership course and all that leadership course is for, for one semester. Okay. Is that only if it's, are there semesters in high school? Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yes. Okay. For, for, for one semester, you, you, you took a leadership prep course and that leadership prep course helped you identify core values. Helped you identify the, the direction of your life, your vision, your mission, and, 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 and they imparted this leadership into you. And someone taught you, okay, that says, before you make this decision, does it go, do, does it go along with your core values? Mm -hmm. Does it align with your core values? Before you take this job, does it align with your vision and the direction that you're trying to take your life in? Mm -hmm. Now, again, it's going to move. And I get that. But where would you be if someone imparted just a little bit of leadership well, into think, your life? I think Taylor's right. A lot of people think guardrail and they're like, oh, restriction, less freedom. Like, no, I want to break free and just do what I want to do. But kids crave boundaries. They don't want them. They'll say they don't want them, but they do want them. Like internally, it's, it's like it's a safety there you go. It's safety. For Maybe them. it's not the boundary. It's the safety. Hmm. They don't understand it as a boundary. They understand it as safety. Mm -hmm. my, believe it or not, there's an invisible boundary of distance my kids will go from me when we're at the park. Mm -hmm. There's a certain distance and there's like an invisible barrier, right? I've lost sight of daddy. And you'll see, you'll see the fear kick in. They've crossed outside that boundary. Mm -hmm. They stepped outside that safety, mm -hmm. right? Every kid's a little different. Right. But what we're talking about, what we're talking about here is these core values help the person identify their own boundaries. Right. Their own version of safety around their life. Mm hmm I want to teach on this. <laughs> I think it would be fun to walk. Discipline equals freedom. Ah, Taylor, Taylor dropping some of that uh, mm -hmm. extreme ownership, right? Yep. I would, I think it would be fun to do a mini course, a two week mini course where you take teenagers, you bring them in, you teach these concepts over two weeks and you just help them identify core values. So just help them set a direction for the life. And then you just let them, and then it's, it's just, it's, it's a, it's a two week course, mm -hmm. right? And <clears throat> so I'm actually reading this Bible study and she shares a big idea about boundaries. Okay. And it says boundaries are not burdens. 
their gifts. Thinking about those guardrails in a different light shifts how you view them. Like, wow, thank you for having this boundary. Thank you for helping me see where I need to stay away from or being intentional about walking this line instead of just roaming. I like that. It, it's it, it, and, and when we talk about guardrails, it's almost like being ready. Like before you go off the guardrails, before you go explore, mm-hmm. make sure you're prepared. Right. You're not going to take a two-wheel drive Honda Civic off-roading. I say that. So <laughs> many people do. <laughs> so many people do. <laughs> right. Right. Hey, Amber, good morning, sweet wife. Um, but be prepared. No, if I'm going to yeah. go off-roading, I'm going to get a 4x4 Jeep. Hey, Diane, come on in. We see you. Come on in. Come on and open the door. <laughs> like, I'm going to take a four-wheel drive. It slides. Oh, yeah, it slides. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be dressed. Hey, do you want to come say hi? You look amazing. You kidding me? Oh, oh, she's it. disciplined. She's disciplined. Yeah. She's gonna get Putting her workout in. Her in. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> You're dropping some major wisdom today. Oh, oh thank you. there you go. Thank Here, you. come say hi. Come say hi. That's the last thing you were talking Here. about. Just say hi. Oh, jeez. So, Hello. so this is live. <laughs> And then that, that's the lag. Yes, the lag is what we see out there. Yes, yes, you hearing? Right. Good morning. <laughs> and goodbye. This is my little sister. <laughs> She's getting dressed up. Great, go get her workout. Uh, did you bring me the hard drive? Yeah, I did. Okay. So, so <laughs> Diane, Diane. So in my family, I'm IT. Mm-hmm. In your family, I'm IT. Yeah. And a couple families, I'm IT. <laughs> I am the IT. It's yet. helpful. <laughs> it's helpful to have a yeah. an IT Nick in your life. If you don't have an IT, you should ask Nick. <laughs> just ask. <laughs> Please just ask. Please don't just, just just let me impart. Let me give some of my one percent. I'm the nerd. Let me be the nerd. <laughs> Taylor okay. says you look amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we 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 uh, one of her laptops filled, so we pulled the hard drive out. Mm-hmm. And um, because of the coding, because of the new security features, I need to go actually unlock the hard drive now. Oh my I didn't gosh. expect it to be locked when she plugged it in, so I said, that's why she brought it back. <laughs> oh, Amber says good morning. <laughs> so no I, it, yeah. you know but when you go off-roading you need to be prepared yes like hey i want to go off-roading i want to go explore i want to go mm-hmm. travel the world great do that i'm not saying don't do that mm-hmm. but then be prepared right yeah what are your core values it just this is so important to to identify and it's funny because I really think Gary Gregory is working on a course on this. Mm-hmm. And I believe Ernesto Lopez is working on a course mm-hmm. for this. And I'm really excited to taste, to test, not taste. I taste tested cookies. Those were delicious. <laughs> and by the way, for those of you that have been watching, uh, I've almost drank this whole thing. Mm-hmm. It's so good. It is so good. I, I yeah. no, no, no more of this. <laughs> this is like cocaine in a cup you don't see nick on a, a caffeine rush right now you see him on a sugar high i'm on a sugar <laughs> high right core values girl it, there you go mm-hmm. all right yep. let's go let's go into the next thing that you want to talk about no we are actually at an hour nick. no we're not yes we no are. we're not we're going over an hour no we're not yes we are we're only we're only at 53 minutes i have the clock right in front of me the timer you cannot argue I want to talk about this. They want to hear you talk about this. Some people may drop off and that's okay. Some people may jump on. That's okay. But let's talk about margin. No, they'll have to come back next week. No, no. Yes, we dedicated this whole morning to this. No, we just dedicated this whole morning to core values. Nick, it's an hour. Can you can you hint at margin, please? How do I hint at, like, it's going to just hint open the can at of margin. Worms. Just hint yeah. at it. So, all right, I'm going to read this quote. Thank you. Yes. And then we're going to be done. No, we're not going to be done. Nick, we're not I, going I, over. We ha- we're not, we're not even close to being over. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ha- hey, hey, we're squabbling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Diane's cracking up over here. <laughs> you have, you have five minutes and 15 seconds. Go. Margin is a powerful concept. It creates opportunities. 
For more, come back next week. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. So we are driving. We are driving back from picking up coffee. And... And and Lindsay drops this bomb on me that that I've never I've never noticed before because of the Bible study that she's in, and it says God. She says God created rest, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I don't like rest. Like, what is rest? Like, what is this? All right, if you're gonna like, if we're going into this, it says by the seventh day, Genesis two two. Okay, by the okay. seventh day, God completed His work that He had done. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work that he had done. Now, if you know the story of creation, God created everything within six days. And Mm -hmm. on the seventh day, he rested. That's how it's always been portrayed. Yeah, that's why I Mm -hmm. I understood it. But it says, by the seventh day, God had completed his work. Which means he was still working on the seventh day. But what is it that he created? He created rest on the seventh day. That is, Diane was just like, whoa, <laughs> right? That's the thing I did in the car. Like, what? Yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, this is a way bigger topic than we can cover in four minutes and 53 Which seconds. Which is what, but, but, but now they actually have context as to why yes. we need to have this conversation. Yes. Like, like Lindsay, Lindsay created, like we have slides, <laughs> we have slides of notes and they are not Nick's slides of notes. I'm like, which is like <laughs> one, one, one bullet one point, bullet point, because then Nick can just <laughs> boom, you can go with it. Right. No, this is like, this is like raw, well written in. There's like uppercase, lowercase stuff and stuff, big fonts and little fonts and in brackets and outside our bracket. Like I'm like. I, I, I come back in. I'm like, what kind of notes are these? Like, are you just going to be reading a slide? Uh-uh. They're so well done. <laughs> so <you>. well done. <laughs> so this, oh, I'm not going to lie. Ladies and gentlemen, it is really difficult for me to only have one show a week. Mm-hmm. It is going to be difficult. And, but, um, and this is where we're talking about intentionality. And like, the, you're going to have to help us grow. Because to be honest, core values wasn't on any of our agendas today. it wasn't it really <laughs> wasn't but it was exactly what we needed to talk about mm-hmm. and now next week we mm-hmm. can talk about margin yep so and then after and then hey after after we say hi to everyone next week where are we going oh oh we you are, didn't realize it was right around the corner is, did you it is right around that corner we are creating margin we are Nick. creating margin and it stresses <laughs> me out right now. Where are we going? We're going to go to Broken Bow. We are. We're taking both families mm-hmm. and heading up to a cabin. Thanks for the invite. I know. It is a, it's a, it's it's a, a, it's a, a work, work trip. It is an absolute work trip. <laughs> <laughs> it is an absolute work trip. Yes. Yeah, we are. We are going to be doing uh, the business planning session for. So so the way that social media towards operates is we operate from June to June Mm -hmm. that and and the reason why we do that is so we don't try to have our year in the middle at the end of the year when all the holidays show up. So we 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 work from June to June and that's how we do our business planning session. And that's what we're going to be doing. So we might be dropping some, uh, doing some lives while we're out there. Hopefully the cabin has internet. I really hope the cabin has internet. I'm sure it does. Because, be, di- oh, wait, oh, Diane's like a broken bow expert. Well, I've been a couple times and every, all the Here, come, come, come talk. P- people can hear you, but yeah, they, can't, they hear can't hear you. you. Or just, you or, come yeah. over here with me? Yeah, no. You're, you're closer to Lindsay. I've only been like three yeah. times. That's okay. You bid you, that's more than me. <laughs> well, me either, too. Either, either way. way. Here, get close to the mic. Either way, every time I've gone... The Airbnbs we've stayed at have had like good Wi-Fi. Okay. So should be fine. I saw pictures and they have like streaming TV. So I'm sure like they have to have some kind, you know, Wi-Fi, right? Like I would think. (laughs) (laughs) think. (laughs) You can't have streaming TV without Wi-Fi. Well, you can. It just won't work. Like you could you plug it in just to be a look at you like (laughs) I don't have signal. (laughs) It. Dustin All says right. we get to work and he's gonna play with the kids. Yes. <laughs> Morning, Dustin. How you doing, brother? He blown up the comments over here on YouTube. You of the tube. So yes, yeah, so we will be we will be doing a business planning session and we will come back and be sharing that with y'all. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, because why? <sighs> like I, I literally, I, I looked at Lindsay. What was it? It was last it was week. Friday. And I was like, I'm not sure. Like I, I don't feel right going to mm-hmm. broken bow mm-hmm. and not, not working, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday. She's like, you're going to be working. I'm like, okay. <sighs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> So, yes, we will be working. The family will be having fun. It'll be a little bit of a, of a different scenery, but it's good because it will get us into that right, right mindset. Mm-hmm. We're being intentional by creating margin. There you go. Come there learn go. more about it on Monday. Yeah, that's funny because it's going gonna, it's gonna to fit <laughs> right know. in. It's almost like I How planned crazy. this. Oh, my goodness. Well, I think somebody else planned it, but, you know. No, no. It's all my fault. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is Monday. You know I'm going to talk about it. Your big three. Mm -hmm. Okay? Make sure to get that in. We will have a post coming up so you can share your big three with us. And we'll be sharing our big three with you. And that way we can all just help keep each other accountable just to, and just, just win together. Okay? Mm-hmm. Thank you guys for being in the comments and liking the videos. If you don't comment or like the video, we don't know that you've joined us. Yep. And we like to pray over our audience. We like to pray positive over our audience. We like to pray success over our audience. We like to pray that, you know, God is helping you move forward. And the only way we can do that is by you guys being in the comments, okay? If you're listening on our podcast, come join us over on Facebook. Come join us over on YouTube. Uh, come join us over on LinkedIn. Like, yeah. we're on all three platforms. So come on over there. And I've been told, I've been told, I've been told Uh-oh. that we are required to start a TikTok. Like I got told that at church, <laughs> like you have to be on TikTok now. Mm. So, um, that's, that's part of our business planning session is going to be talking about how do we get on TikTok? How do we get the show on TikTok? Yep. So Let's do it. we love you guys. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you guys for being in the comments. Thank you guys for blessing us with your presence. It's an honor to spend Monday morning with you. Yes. Now let's get this week started make sure that you rise up. And crush it. Bye, Bye, y'all.